Now this this is video is for some of you Ford Super Duties owners, the older models, you know, 1994 to 2006 or 2007 that, you know, have the uh, gas engine uh, keeps blowing fuse 28, which is uh, this fuse here. That's this fuse right here in your box that controls your cruise control and your interlock and reverse lights. So what's happened is you'll put it in reverse, you'll have an intermittent problem where every now and then the fuse will blow and if it, you've checked the lights, you've checked everything, you don't know why, why the fuse keeps blowing, you run the cruise control, you'll do something fine, be fine for a little bit and then all of a sudden the fuse will blow. Well, I've been running this thing down for a while, I got fed up with it, so I'm gonna show you what I found, what I think has been the problem. So just so you can see where I'm at now, that's the driver's front tire. And if you look up underneath here, there's a fuel filter right there. And if you look right there, you'll see them jumbled wires right there. I found these jumbled wires squished between the cab and the frame. There's a little, you can almost get your pinker finger in there. And either at some point when Ford did some work on this thing and they pulled the cab off, or at the factory when they built it, they squish these things in between right here. Okay, let me, let me get where you can see. In between the frame right here is the frame rail and then the cab, there's like that much room there. Well, these are big old thick cables you can see here. And if you look right here, you see they were squished and they were squished on top of each other. So not only were they, you know, not only were they uh, squished tight, they were squished top on each other. And I'll show you what I found here. I didn't run the schematics, but I know this runs to the back. And you see right in here, is a frayed wire. That's actually bare wire that was on the bottom of this, squished between this and the frame right here. Now, technically, just reverse lights, I'd run a new wire, but this was also my shifter interlock and cruise control. And I wanted my cruise control to work. So I'm gonna put some electrical tape on there and see if that fixes the intermittent problem. I could reproduce the problem by turning the steering wheel to the left and watching the watching the fuse blow when I got to a certain area to the left. And I think what was happening was the vehicle was tilting to one side and as it did, it was pushing down on this and it would push down just enough when it got hot and make that thing, make enough contact in there and blow. And I mean, that is, that's the only one that's naked and I'm gonna wrap some electrical tape, wrap it back up good, keep it out from underneath there and see if that fixes my problem. So again, that's right, right in that area. I don't know if it's from the factory like this. It could be just me. Maybe one time in the past it got worked on. I bought this used, but there's the fuel filter right there. And it's like right in that area where it starts to, where this starts to go up the firewall to the, uh, driver's compartment and goes in and then over the firewall so I'm gonna fix it and I'll let you know if that fixes it in just a second well that fixed it sorry for the lighting everything's terrible it's horrible out here it's hot too but that fixed it now the reverse lights work fine cruise control works fine and fuse isn't blowing so yeah, I'm still dirty I'm gonna go take a shower hey but if I hope that helps some of y'all if y'all got fuse 28 popping on you intermittent problem that's a busy little fuse that runs a cruise control, the shifter interlock, the reverse lights, and, uh, you know, it's just pretty busy, busy fuse. So uh, if you got an intermittent problem, check that cable going between the cab and the frame, see if it's been smooshed. Hey, twist pine, y'all take it easy.